Puggles. Hi, Miss Sydney. How are you all? Miss Sydney, it was so good to see so many of our friends in our Zoom meeting. And for those of you who could not make it, that's okay. Just have your mommies or daddies contact Miss Tammy or Miss Jessica and we can connect you for a fun time of worship. Now, before I call Miss Celine to go over the classroom rules and time for worship, I noticed that we have some new friends so that we can learn even more about God. Now, as always, we want to give a big special hello to our new friends. Hi, friends! All right, let's call Miss Celine. Hi, Puggles! Are you guys ready to sing the doobie rules with me this morning? You are? Yay! All right, now for our doobie rules, we're gonna need our special friend, Doobie. Now, let's see. Where is Doobie? Hmm, where's Doobie? <gasps> there he is! <laughs> Hi, Doobie. Are you ready to help us sing your doobie rules this morning? You are? Great. Now, let's set you down right here so you can help us go over some of your rules, all right? All right, are you guys ready? Great. So doobie says that we have to be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind, be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind. Yay! Great job, everyone. And thank you, Doobie, for helping us go over our Doobie rules. We'll see you next week. Bye! All right. After our doobie rolls, it's time for our Vineyard Kids Beyond Time song. So, are you guys ready to sing the song with me? All right. I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm up in my head. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my feet, I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm all over me. And I will be on time. Great job, everyone. And great job on being on time this Sunday. Now, after our Be On Time song, we go into our Puggles theme song. So, can everyone stand up for me, please? Can everyone stand up? And let's get ready to sing our Puggles theme song together. All right? Great. You know it's true, Puggles. God loves me and you, Puggles. So what do we do, Puggles? We get together. everyone. Now, let's get ready for worship. So, can everyone fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me? Dear Jesus, thank you for today, and let us worship you with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our strength and with all of our soul. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's get ready to worship.
so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on has provided us in our lives. There are so many blessings in our lives that God has provided. 
and we can thank God by giving our best fruit to Him. So you can have your mommies and daddies scan here or visit our church app and donate there. And let's be cheerful givers and donate to God's kingdom. I'll see you in class. Hey Puggles, let's go over the review questions from last week. What type of king did God's people want as their king? Mm -hmm. Someone who was good and would help people love and obey God. Who did God choose as king to lead his people and why? That's right, David the shepherd king. God is good because he takes care of us like David, a good shepherd, took care of his sheep. And the bonus question, who was God preparing his people for? Yes, and that is Jesus! Great job, Puggles! I'll see you in class! Hi, boys and girls! Hi, Mr. Puggles! It's so good to see you all today! Oh, and I see that Papa Puggles is here today to say hello to us. Can we all say hello? Hi, Papa Puggles. We are so thankful for our dads for making us laugh when we are sad and helping us with our homework. Thank you, Papa Puggles, for stopping by and saying hello. Do you want to stay for our song, 48 verse 1 song? All right, well, I'll have Mr. Puggles lead the song to show what he has learned in class. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. One. Psalm 48 verse 1 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Whew, that was really good, boys and girls. Well, bye, Papa Puggles. Hi, Miss Sydney. It's so good to see you. Well, today we have two more lessons in our Big Truth 2 series. We learned that God is always with us. God is strong. God keeps us safe. God is kind. God gives good things. God is good. And today's lesson picture shows a grandparent's hands. Our grandmas have lived a long, 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 long time and are full of wisdom. Today, we will be learning about how God is wise. He knows everything there is to know. Here is a video about how God gave King Solomon wisdom to rule his people. Solomon was a king. One night he dreamed about God. God said, you may ask for one thing, ask for anything and it will be yours. Solomon thought, then he said, help me to be smarter, Lord, so that I can always tell right from wrong. This made God so happy that he made Solomon the smartest man who ever lived. God also gave Solomon riches and fame. The Bible tells us that Solomon asked God for an obedient heart 
so that he could be wise and take care of God's people well. Well, just as the video that we just watched, Solomon prayed to God to give him wisdom and to let him have an obedient heart to obey God and help him know what's right and what is wrong to lead his people. God was pleased with Solomon's answer and gave him just what he asked for, a wise and understanding heart. Have you boys and girls prayed to God today? After all, we learn that God is always with us. And if we don't know an answer, just pray to God. God is the one who gives wisdom because he is the wisest of all. Solomon was a good and wise king. And we will learn later how God had a plan for his people to give them an even better king. Who might that be? It's Jesus. Jesus! Yes, it is Jesus. Wow, boys and girls, we have learned so much so far. You are all becoming more wise every day by praying to God and asking mommies and daddies lots of questions. Let's close our class with a prayer. Miss Sydney, what do we do at the end of class? We fold our hands and close our eyes and pray. Dear God, thank you for being so wise. Thank you for providing all the wonderful people in our lives to help teach us to learn more about you and to love you. And please pray for us this week so that we can learn more about you. You are so great and amazing, and we love you so much. Amen. Remember to pray to God every day, and I, Mr. Puggles, Miss Sydney, will see you next week. Do you have any questions, prayer requests, or just want to talk to us? Here are the ways that you can contact us. Email us or message us on Instagram or Facebook. We're always excited to hear from you. Hey Puggles! Here are the review questions for next week. What did God do for Solomon the king? Hmm. What advice did Solomon's father give to Solomon? And the bonus question, who is the wisest in the whole wide world? And we will go over these next week. Oh, and one last thing. Here are some really fun activities that you can do. And check out the links below for some other really fun activities. Bye! And to remember to enjoy God's Word together. Tune in next week for Daniel and the Lions. God is great. God made the world and God made me. God made